If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha everybody, we are going to talk about protein sparing modified fast. And if you're unfamiliar what that is, we have great information right here in this video. And if you want your macros done for protein sparing modified fast, go to mariamindbodyhealth.com, search calculator up in the right hand corner and you can get your protein sparing we'll modified have a little link right here oh, yeah, we'll link have a link. Right yeah there you go so uh protein sparing modified fast is a great way to break stalls to speed up your your results and your fat loss results um one of the things about keto that is a common misconception is that it has to be high fat and we what we talk about you know in some of our other videos is that if your body's already high fat your diet doesn't have to be and this is uh a concept of how the body works in storing and using your stored body fat is called fat flux and what it is is uh, you always have fat going in and out of your fat cells and what you want for fat loss is you want more coming out <laughs> than going back in most people do <laughs> and that becomes fat loss right so because you have more fat coming out of the fat cells than is going back into the fat cells um, how does fat go back into the fat cells well if you're sedentary uh, and fat that was in circulation isn't getting used it gets put back in but the main source is from the diet and so when you eat fat what happens is there's only two pathways for fat once you eat it it goes into digestion it gets digested into your bloodstream now it can either be used as fuel in your muscle or stored in your fat cells that's it those are the only two paths so it makes a lot of sense to say okay after I'm keto adapted and I'm comfortable, you know, if I'm an efficient fat burner, let's look at maybe moderating in a dietary fat down because any dietary fat coming in is either going to displace your own body fat for fuel, for right. fuel, or go into your fat cells, adding fat to your fat cells. Both of those you do not want when you want to lose weight. And this is why we never recommend fat fast, egg fast, or bulletproof, um, coffee. bulletproof coffee, that type of stuff. We want you to eat real food. Um, you know, protein is really great for that thermic effect of food. It helps with your hair. All these women come to me um, and they're like, Maria, help, I'm losing my hair. And it's usually because they're not getting the amino acids that come, amino acids come from protein. They're the building blocks for your hair, your nails, um, your thighs thyroid gland needs a lot of amino acids so do not fear the protein in the absence of carbohydrates you will be keto yes that's the only thing to be keto the only requirement is to keep your carbohydrate intake low enough to force your body to primarily use fat as fuel that's it and if you up the dietary fat you're probably going to be lowering your protein which is yeah. going to cause the issues you talked about so again let's focus on protein uh, and what a protein sparing modify fast does is just that it it takes our biology and says okay let's mimic a fast which you know long we don't recommend really fasting longer than 24 hours because you lose lean mass when you have no calories coming in you know fasting is the ultimate calorie restriction right because you are eating nothing um, what happens is your body ha has to tap into your fat stores that's a good thing but it doesn't have any protein to deal with all the turnover of amino acids in the body. Your body, the, the man who got the Nobel Prize for autophagy, um, he calculated that in three months, we turn over all, pretty much all of our cells yeah. in our body. You're a whole new person in three months. That's how much autophagy is going on. And autophagy is where your, your cells that are bad or damaged are taken apart and new cells are made. But everybody's doing these long-term fasts to get into that. But, but, but my point is, you know, that, that uh, cellular turnover is still happening if you're fasting. So the amino acids has to come from somewhere, so it takes it from your muscle mm -hmm. and takes it from other tissues. So it, it's turning over and creating, and, and your skin, think how much skin you lose every day that has to be replaced. All this has to be come, come from somewhere, so it comes from your, your lean mass. And you don't want to lose lean mass. You want to maintain your strength and your muscle. So protein sparing modified fast takes the good of <laughs> fasting, which is forcing your body to burn more fat yeah. and eliminates the negative of losing lean mass because you're still eating enough protein for your lean mass. So a protein sparing modified fast looks like basically zero, zero carbs, enough protein for your lean mass, and then fat of maybe 30 grams a day, just enough to absorb uh, fat soluble vitamins, make, make hormones and those kind of things, but that's it. And if this does not sound tasty to you, believe me, I have 
hun uh, over a hundred recipes. Everybody goes crazy over the recipes. They love the French toast porridge. You wouldn't believe how delicious it can be. You can have a snow cone on this. You know, yeah. like it is not a painful diet whatsoever. If you get creative, I'm like super creative in the kitchen. So we did the protein sparing modified fast cookbook, but this is why I want to talk about fat fast. A lot of people are like, well, I lost weight on a fat fast, but guess what you lose really quickly? It's muscle and muscle yeah. weighs a lot. So you might see it on the scale, but big whoop, because in the end, that's going to slow your metabolism. And this is where this is really powerful. Yeah. In protein sparing modified fast cookbook, which we'll link below, we have actually had people, those are like six or 700 calories. Yep. We've had people say they can't eat it all. Because they're so full. It dries so much sat satiety as well. So it's nothing like fasting in that way. And that's in, in a good way. But why do people think they need fat to be satiated? I mean, let's think about a pound of cod. Like you were, this is what yeah. we talk about all the time. People. Yeah. So like a bulletproof coffee is like 400 <laughs> calories of pure fat. People can drink those. So we have people who drink a couple of those a day. Yeah. And they think they're fasting. Yeah. And then you look at, uh, you have like a pound and a half of cod. And that's like 500 calories. Could you sit and eat that? No, like you'd get be full. you'd get full halfway through it. So, so calorie, calorie for calorie, calorie. See, we talk about this all the time. Protein is much more satiating than fat. Now, that's not to say you don't need fat, right? Right, 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 right. Fat is essential, but when you want to burn this fat yes. off your body, have less in the diet. And that's what the protein sparing modified fast cookbook does. It's about thirty grams of fat a day. Yep. And yep. then uh, you add that maybe three or four days a week. And it really speeds up your results. Yeah, people that have been on a two-year stall of not losing any weight, when they do this, um, they're also dairy-free for a reason, everybody. <laughs> uh, but when they do that, they do fantastic. But again, Break if you want your two own... Two-year stalls. Yeah, two-year stalls. But if you want to get your own uh, protein sparing modified fast macros done, it's totally free. We'll have the link in the video somewhere in the sky here. Um, but check it out. Did you want to say anything else? Nope, just give it a try. And especially if you've been stalled or you're frustrated with your keto success, yep. this is a great way to ramp we it up. We don't even have MCT oil in the house and we just focus on real food just like you should if you want to be successful. Mahalo. Sharing is caring. Share this video with your